This is so stressful. It's flying everywhere. It's literally flying everywhere. I'm like freaking Michelangelo with the Starry Night over here. <laughs> is that who did Starry Night? At some point, I think I'm supposed to... <laughs> Buongiorno, everybody! <laughs> this week, I am tapping into my Italian roots and I am going to make a homemade pizza. I just got a KitchenAid mixer, so I really want to use it. Um, and I thought, you know what? I'm hungry and I like pizza, so let's make it. I looked up a very simple recipe, so let's see how it goes. You need one package of active dry yeast. I don't know what that is. I got it. I don't know where yeast comes from. I only know of yeast as something very gross and unsanitary, so I don't know what that is. Sugar, water, salt, as Rachel Ray would say, EVLO, and flour. I gotta go on a little rant here. People always say, oh, you need to cook to save money. First of all, all of this to just make one meal was $44. Domino's is like $10. I could get four pizzas as opposed to that. Like, eh, and then I have to cook it as well. Like, that's just, it doesn't add up. It doesn't, Joe Biden, if you're listening, it doesn't add up. In the bowl of the standing electric mixer fitted with a dough hook. All right, so we gotta swap out the hooks. This is what I assume is the dough hook. I don't know how to. Did you read the instruction manual? I did not. Combine the yeast, sugar, and warm water. Isn't Fleischmann's mayonnaise? Is this mayonnaise? Is this how they make mayonnaise? Not actually Italian, but I like to joke with Matteo that I'm Italian. Well, more Italian than he is. What else did it say I've already forgotten? One teaspoon of sugar. How the hell are you supposed to open this? Be careful. That's there we go. Is that warm? <laughs> yep. Stir gently to dissolve. Holy Jesus and raw. Is that gentle? That seems fast, but that's the lowest one. How do I, it's like cloudy. It smells gross. Let's see it. It's definitely not dissolved. Oh wait, no, something's happening. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stir. It doesn't say to stir for how long. I think that it has to be dissolved by this point. Let the mixture stand until the yeast comes alive. Alive? What am I, Frankenstein here? Let the mixture stand until the yeast comes alive and starts to foam. Now it sounds like rabies. It looks like it's foaming. I don't know what that means. I've never done this. I'm saying it's foamed. Turn the mixer on low and add the salt and two tablespoons of olive oil. That just seems so fast. Oh shit, I did it right on top. Should I blow on it? No. Yeah. That didn't work. God, it's so, and this thing's in the way. How am I supposed to? It's just, okay. All over the side. What side? Yeah. Oh, you need to not get your hand on that. Add the flour a little at a time. Oh, it's double zero flour, whatever that is. But it's, how am I? Just a little at a time. No, but it's going, it's going all over the top. It's going all over the top. It's not even going in. That's what she said. I gotta just do it when it's on its... I, I just feel like the people in Italy aren't... Okay, but how do I get it off the top? I think it's gotta keep going because I don't think it can like rest. Well, I gotta get it off the top. This is so complicated. I really, I, di I didn't think. When do I add? 
a little at a time. Oh my god. Fucking hell. It's all over my table. There's got to be another way. I did not watch any tutorials. I should you have. You are the tutorial. I should have watched Rachel Ray. I am the tutorial. But again, it's all over the top. Maybe if I do it. Oh, that kind of. Okay, dough is forming though. When I used to work at Pizza Hut, they had like a vat that did this. I was not allowed to do it. This is so stressful. Uh, my most stressful day at Pizza Hut was when it flooded into the restaurant, but we still decided to serve people. So half the restaurant was underwater and the other half I was bringing pizzas to them. We, we weren't working with the top brass, let's just say. When the dough starts to come together, increase the speed to medium. Holy Jesus! This just, this seems too much. This seems too much. It's flying everywhere. It's literally flying everywhere. That was too fast. KitchenAid, that's too fast. Mama, this is dough. Mix until the dough gathers into a ball. This should take about five minutes. Five minutes? Some of it kind of looks. <gasps> oh, <laughs> I'm shaking. I'm like Lisa Barlow. I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. <laughs> Turn the dough out. Turn the dough out. I don't even know what that means. The only time I've ever heard of that, she turned it out. Did you clean that spot? Yes. All right, come on, girl. I'm gonna turn you out. If anyone watching is screaming at your screen right now because I'm doing something wrong, I apologize, but I don't know what I'm doing. And it doesn't really... I think you're doing a great job. When do you toss it? Oh, Jesus. Oh. Is this right? Turn it over to coat. Turn what over and coat what? Cover in a damp towel and let it rise in a warm spot. That doesn't fit. <laughs> What's a warm spot? I'm gonna find a warm spot and we'll go from there. And it's been one hour of proving, rising. They say proving on Great British Bake Off. Double in size. I feel like that's doubled. I've preheated the oven to 500 degrees. I don't have a pizza stone. I only have this. I think it's okay to go in 500 degrees. <laughs> right? Stretch the dough into a cylinder and divide it into three equal pieces. Cover and let rest for 10 minutes so it'll be easier to roll out. Oh my god. Like this looks like pizza dough. I'm impressed and I'm not impressed with any of your baking. Thank you. Okay, it says split into three equal. Doesn't look right, but close enough. Why am I covering it? What's happening? Okay, well, I guess 10 minutes. All right, first of all, I gotta say, there's a lot of waiting going on. I don't know how people do this every day. It just gives me more reason to want to just order Pizza Hut, and I probably will from now on, but at least I can say that I've done it. It's been 10 minutes. They look the same friggin' size to me. I'm just free balling it here on out. It's, it's too much at this point. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these, so they're just gonna sit there. We're doing pizza blend cheese and some prosciutto. At some point, I think I'm supposed to... <laughs> there you go. Oh my god! You did it! <laughs> if anyone is watching and hiring... It's not getting bigger, it's just a square. <laughs> oh my god. I'm fucking nail. I am nailing this. I feel like an earthbender. I've been watching Avatar The Last Airbender and now I'm a pizza bender. Oh my God. Mateo could literally never. You're a pizza bender. Oh, I don't know why, but I'm gonna do the same thing because I've seen it done before. It's like in burlesque when Cher goes, 
It's like you're painting a picture, but on a face. I'm not making my own sauce, so I just got literally pizza sauce. Smells authentic. <laughs> I don't like a lot of sauce. So I think just like a thin layer. I don't have a share euphemism for this. You just take the prosciutto, or as my Nona would say, the prosciutto, and then just, you know, lay it on. Yeah, we're doing a margarita pizza. <laughs> the question is, how do I get this to that? Okay, okay. Everyone watching is holding their breath like I'm Simone Biles competing for the Olympics. <laughs> Maybe she's born with it. Maybe she's Papa John's. And then we pop this baby in for they say 12 to 15 minutes. Honestly, it looks pretty good. I, I'm actually really gagged at myself right now but there is the taste test. I killed this. I'm starting my own pizza shop. I'm doing it. It's on camera, so it's true. I'm starting my own pizza shop. I've conquered pizza. Next, I'm gonna conquer diabetes. <laughs> Thank you for watching another video. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you wanna see me attempt to make something else, let me know in the comments. Please like, comment, subscribe, and hit the super thanks button. And yeah, until next time.